Accent. You said it wasn't like the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about, David Elsop? We are talking about a lovely little oh. Georgian portrait miniature. Oh, let me have a look at that. Absolutely lovely. Okay, tell us what you think about it. Um, it's around 1800, um, George III period, um, painted on ivory. On ivory? On ivory. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. It, you own it? I do, yeah. How long have you owned it for? Uh, well, my mother passed it on to me um, about 10 years ago. Right. And is it, a, it's, is it's it a family, family? Is it family? Heirloom, yes. Is it one of your ancestors? I believe so, but I don't know any more about it. My maiden name's Rhodes, so it's from the Rhodes family, but this person's Adam Fitch. Wow, how, and what a fine gentleman he is, isn't he? I mean, there's no doubt about it, that comes from a very wealthy family. Have you still got money? Just out of interest? <laughs> no. no. Oh, no, okay. No. I just, the next question was, are you single? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Double failure, you call that. Yeah. <laughs> because that was commissioned by a wealthy person, wasn't it, David? Probably a wife of this fella. Yeah, it's not signed anywhere, but I mean, it's super quality. The frame's not marked, but it could be gold. Then we've got the locks of hair in the back and then a, the initials and a little cartouche and little seed pearls all around it. So it's super quality. Yeah. And the painting's in nice condition, nice and clean. Um, slight issue is the ivory. Mm -hmm. You know, the sale of ivory now, we're not allowed to sell ivory, but there are a few exemptions, and there is one for portrait miniatures. So providing they're under 300 and something square centimetres, yeah. we can get a licence to sell these now. Um, other items that incorporate ivory, like teapots, have ivory knobs and handles. We can still get exemptions for those, providing the ivory content is less than 10% of the object. So you wouldn't have any problems for this. All you've got to do is pay a debt for a £25. Thank you very much. And, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Waste 20 minutes of our time. Yeah. Um, to sell something, to can sell I just something. make a point that was made 220 years ago? Does it, can anybody explain how banning something that was made 220 years ago saves any elephant living today? It doesn't, no. does it? But anyway, there we have it. But he is an absolute beauty. And that, we were, I was talking to someone earlier on about this. It's quite interesting because... Miniatures like this were designed for loved ones to carry with them. So it's, it's very emotive. It's got great personal connections. And it was a very important object to somebody. And it's a bit like on your phone, you might pictures of your kids, your wife, your husband, your dog. It's the kind of thing that you take around with you. This was a traveling memory. It's a Georgian selfie. It's a Georgian selfie. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's much more succinct. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, David. Yeah. yeah, it's a Georgian selfie. <laughs> so do you have any idea? What was your name? Uh, Pippa Rhodes. Pippa. Well, Eels now. But it, okay. Yes. Oh, we don't need your life story, but anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, have you any ideas what it might be worth? Oh, absolutely not. None at and all. it's not for sale. It's, it's not, a well, heirloom, so. well, we'll see about that, <laughs> won't we? We're going to pass it to the audience. Have you had a, a good enough look at that piece? Painted 220 years ago on ivory, how much would you pay for it? Shout out. 3,000. 3,000. They've got some money in Darlington, haven't they? <laughs> hey? what, what do you think? One and a half. One and a half thousand, yeah. It's coming down. It's like a Dutch auction. <laughs> <laughs> 700. 700. Oh, you will just keep halving it. Just keep, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. David Elstop? I would say between four and 600 in auction. Yeah. And good value for money yeah, as well. Exactly. What a lovely thing. Pretty and you, you've got very good ancestors, <laughs> madam. Well done, you. Congratulations. Give a round of applause.